Hello automation animal lovers welcome back to credit sessions today we are going to see how can we use csv files as database in our automation anywhere a360 so a csv file is essentially a plain text file where data is separated by commas each line represents a record and each comma separated value represents a field so this simple structure makes it accessible for automation so let me show you the file which we are going to use in this tutorial so this is the file employeesdetails.csv and we are going to use this let me show you so it contains data of some employees so we are going to read this csv file so let uh, we have already posted a video in which we show like uh, how can we get excel file as database and uh, in this uh, we are going to get uh, the csv file as database the process is bit uh, different than excel so i will show you what is the difference uh, in between excel and csv files uh, when we get them as C uh, database and here i have written the code to get this csv as database i will explain this code before that let me show you the uh, blog post on this uh, topic so if you want more details on this you can check out our blog post I will give the link of this blog post in the description box you can get it from there so guys unlike uh, traditional databases csv files require a unique connection string so here is a typical uh, example you can see you can copy this connection string from uh, this blog and also the query sql query is also different for uh, for this csv file okay so let me go to the control room first of all we need to connect to the database and uh, for that we we'll use this connection string so you can copy this connection string and here in this uh, this uh, driver variable will remain same means we can't change the value of this then here dbq here we need to give the folder path no need to give the file path we will give the folder path in which that file is available so i will copy this folder path and extensions so as of now we are dealing with the csv extensions only okay so i have given csv we can also give txt uh, if we, you want to read any notepad file and after that we will give the name of the database session okay so our uh, connection will establish then we can uh, read the file okay for reading the file we need to give select star from and here we need to give scare brackets and the name of the csv file because in the connection string we have given the folder path now we don't know which file we want to read so we need to tell them we want to read this csv file or this csv file so here we are here we will give the csv file name in excel we give uh, the sheet name excel sheet name because excel file can contain multiple worksheet but csv file will contain only one sheet so here we are giving the csv file name and guys here we are not uh, using the dollar sign so make sure you are not using the dollar sign in this just give the worksheet name sorry just give the workbook name and after that uh, we will follow the same process Uh, we are using the same uh, session name and uh, we will uh, take a loop stage so that uh, we can iterate over all the records of the csv and uh, i am using this iterator database for each row in as in a sql uh, query data set okay session name we are using default and i have created a record type of variable sql data set row and uh, in the message box we are print we can uh, get the value of any field of uh, each record for example i want to get the value of the first field which is uh, this department okay so let me run the bot and after this loop stage we are closing this uh, connection so let me run the bot if you want to if you need some more details on oledb or uh, 
Excel file as database. You can check out our previous video. I will give the link in the description box. And in CSV, just we need to change the, just we need to use this connection string and uh, we need to use that specific uh, uh, SQL statement for CSV files. For more details, you can check out our blog also. 2000 years later. And here we go, we can see sales. So the department of the first employee is sales. You can see, let me close this. Next one is marketing. Then engineering, HR, finance, IT, sales, marketing, engineering, HR, finance, IT, sales. Uh, so guys, this is how we can uh, read the data of the CSV file. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this video and do let me know if you have any doubt or any question and uh, you can check out our blog also. Thank you. Bye.